Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aquarius November 16, 2022. Pay particular attention to your needs for more imagination, gentleness, romance, or nuance in your life and nurture them. It's also a potentially brilliant day for problem solving, particularly related to money or home matters. Transits favor devoting special time to a project or studies. You are willing to put in the research, and others receive your well-informed communications positively. Conversations can lead to great ideas and valuable potential solutions to problem areas in your life. You tend to see the hidden layers of a situation, and recovering something lost or seeing something in a new light can figure strongly. You may be following a hunch regarding money, work, or health matters. Get ready for a marvelous day. While today's cosmic weather will certainly bring some good news about your finances and professional life, it'll also put you in the mood for love. As the mighty sun, our great luminary, sizzles upon the waves of your solar second house, he will link to majestic Neptune. This would be a five-star day to find the perfect gift for someone whom you love. It doesn't necessarily even need to be expensive just something you know deep down they will adore. This simple act of giving will bring you closer. Focus on your values in your work and life balance. Address what you may want or need to feel secure when Mercury in Scorpio sextiles Pluto in Capricorn. Your values are allowed to change over time, especially if you want to focus on your home and family. Since the Sun in Scorpio also trines Neptune retrograde in Pisces, it might become increasingly clear what you need to change in your usual work schedule to enjoy all facets of your work and life balance. Be open about anything unproductive, unhealthy, or inefficient to make a change. That Venus, the planet of money is spending her last full day in your income sector at a friendly aspect to lucky Jupiter in your work sector is advantage enough, but it comes just as the moon is wrapping up its monthly visit to your career sector. With your professional instincts sharp and having already gained an intuitive read on income, work and career matters over the last few days, this is not just a lucky day across all three fronts but can shape your expectations moving forward. The planetary alignment makes this a time to honor your friendships, and sometimes it's best to give your friends a lot of space. Yet, you may find that communication is difficult at this time. There is no need to push it with your friends, because whatever conflict is going on can wait a week or two to be resolved. Concentrate on your own health and happiness by working out regularly, eating a balanced diet and drinking plenty of water. This vibration is known for its fun-loving, energetic nature. Extend yourself by going out into the public today, 7. Even if this means nothing more than doing the weekly shopping, go for it. With your often reclusive nature, moving in and around others probably doesn't happen too often. Yet, doing so can bring you unexpected joy. Meet new people, make a friend. If possible, chat with the folks that you encounter as you go about your business. Allow yourself to experience expansion. This just might be the luckiest day of the year on the income and job fronts, with not one but two powerful alignments both peaking today. One is between the Sun on the income and Neptune on the job front, while the second is not just between Venus on the income and Jupiter on the job front but with perfect timing. This comes to a head during Venus' last full day in your income sector and just as the Moon is wrapping up its monthly visit to your career sector, with your professional instincts sharp as the planets of money, luck and dreams not only come together but under the solar spotlight. Jupiter had already spent five months in your relationship sector before retrograding back out late last month and he will return next month to spend another five months here. Yet in all that time Venus won't return to your communication sector but her return tomorrow will be a chance to get in and work with the planet of love to get the communication lines open. As you wait it is about preparing to be a willing participant from the start. Our eyes in the sky. Be sure to have your dream journal handy this morning as the Cancer Moon forms a helpful connection to communicative Mercury. This cosmic climate can bring psychic prophecies or visions, 
so try to note any strange encounters you had while wandering through the astral realms. This energy lingers as alarm clocks start going off, and early morning meditation is likely to bring some spiritual breakthroughs and epiphanies. We see the vibe change as Lady Luna struts out of Cancer and into Fiery, proud Leo. Use this cosmic climate as an excuse to build up your ego, and don't feel guilty about showing off a bit. You'll feel like socializing later in the afternoon, and a helpful connection between the sun and moon is sure to make you the life of the party. You are on the brink of making a major advancement in your career. Don't ruin this wonderful opportunity by jumping the gun. Not everything is in place yet. Be patient. Today is a good time to reflect on the past and take mental notes. You will find yourself daydreaming and this is fine. Let your mind go. You will obtain great insight when you don't restrict yourself in any way. Your fantasies are very valuable they will help lead the way to the next step in your career. As the day comes to a close, take some time to connect with the universe and thank the other side for all the blessings and opportunities you've been given. This is a time of emotional growth. Get ready for a lot of change. In the pre-dawn hours, the Cancer Moon forms a trine with Jupiter in Pisces, putting us in an idealistic mood. We may be more conscious of our shared history, about how we are connected with others through time and space by circumstance, tradition, or belief. The moon enters a short void of course following this aspect's perfection lasting about two hours. If we are awake, we should use this influence for socializing or self-reflection and hold off on starting new projects. Don't make any major decisions. Postpone any major meetings. Your head is not fully stable and any move you make will not turn out as you desire. There is no stronghold to keep you grounded. This is a time to stick to tasks that are already planned. People are quite hot-tempered right now, and it's up to you to decide whether you want to give them the benefit of the doubt. There is a strong, prickly feeling of change in the air, and spiritual realizations could fall into your lap in the hours ahead. A great strategy for the evening is to honor your body's needs. There's an emphasis on life's niceties and pleasures. Eat great food, watch wonderful movies and give yourself plenty of rewards. The cosmic energies are opening the door to the other side once the hour strikes midnight. Witches and warlocks, you'd better prepare that broomstick and get ready for a ride. Don't waste your time with people who don't fully understand your situation. Others may act like they know what they are talking about, but the truth is that they don't fully understand as well as you do. Be careful of who you listen to. In the morning, the moon enters Leo, ending its short void of course. Over the next two days, the moon is the only body besides Chiron currently transiting a fire sign. The elemental scales are heavily tipped in favor of water energy now, so the moon's stay in Leo offers us a boost of energy. We can consciously remove ourselves from dense emotional situations if we so choose. This is a good period for play and communing with our inner child. It may also be one where we err on the romantic or theatrical side. 